I will just say this. One of my biggest um, things that I really, I sound like such an old man, such an old grouchy man the last couple of weeks. I complain about everything. The draft is my number one bugaboo. It's like, Oprah's speech last night, okay? Oh, this should be a good analogy, okay. Okay. It was a great speech that was uplifting, that I think it meant a lot to a lot of people. Why can't we talk about the point of her speech today instead of already talking about her running for president? Lamar Jackson, let's talk about Lamar Jackson's college career for like three weeks, and then we can start talking about the combine and all of that stupid stuff that, I um, had to catch myself there, um, that comes with all the draft about hand measurements. What position does he play? Where is he in all the mock draft? Who cares? So basically what you're saying is hold your horses, everyone. Yes, like let's just, let's just talk about what these guys do well for right now. When they go to the combine, when all that stuff starts, okay. And I realize that this is stuff that people like to debate and whatever, that's great. If you wanna watch you know, Skip Bayless, please go watch Skip Bayless. I will not care if you go watch Skip Bayless. But let's talk about his college career. I think he's the best college quarterback that I have seen um, either on television or in person since the late 90s. The only guy that I would compare to him since the late 90s is Michael Vick. And I can't remember the last year that he played college, so sue me. But he reminded me of a when Mike Vick was in college mm -hmm. and you were not alive yet I don't think um, you were small you're super small Mike Vick was unbelievable in college and it's we're so far removed from it now that it's kind of like oh well the dog stuff yeah I, I understand that that really has clouded everything about his legacy that guy was incredible a game changer in college Lamar Jackson is better than Mike Vick, in my opinion. And I watched Mike Vick play a lot on national television. So where does that rate him long term? Now we're starting to talk about, I mean, he's a completely different player, but Peyton Manning in the late 90s. Mm -hmm. um, there's a few guys on our draft list here that I think would be in the conversation for best single years that would match him. Um, there's one guy, I mean, it won't surprise you that one of us picked Tim Tebow. The guy is like one of the most accomplished college, uh, college football players in modern memory. He's on that list, too. Mm -hmm. But he was terrible in the NFL, but he was an amazing college quarterback. Right. And, I mean, I think our list in total really shows that it, it can go both ways. But, I mean, when you look at Lamar's accomplishments, and, and um, Jake, our UofL football writer, has written about this extensively, it seems like every single game he played here this season, it was a new record broken. Yeah. Um, 42, I think, he set school records. 42 school records, but then, I mean, how many NCAA records? Right, like and not three, even, I yeah. Think. Yeah, so, exactly. I mean, that's... It's, it's just kind of ridiculous, and I don't think that people are using his NFL-like prospects to devalue what he did here, and I don't think that's correct.